So the question is, was the gentleman in the interview that got the job, was he lucky or did he prepare? You see, I believe that the definition of luck is when preparation meets opportunity. When a person is prepared and the opportunity arises, that is the best de definition I have ever heard of luck. You know, you've been in those conversations, I've been in those conversations where someone, you know, something has happened to someone, they've become successful, um, maybe, you know, they were at the right, it seems like they were at the right place at the right time, and, you know, everything just fell into place. And you've heard someone say, oh boy, aren't they lucky? They're just lucky. I believe in blessings. I believe that God gives us blessings in life that are unmerited favors. But I don't believe in luck. I believe the best definition of luck is just like that gentleman. He was prepared. He wasn't lucky that he just got the job. He prepared himself. Who knows, maybe he had studied for two, three years Morris Code. And when he walked into the office that day, and he heard the message, he sat down and ta 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 He knew exactly what it was saying. He wasn't waiting for someone to, to tell him what it said. And that's how he got the job. So you're probably wondering, why am I standing in front of my tomato plants? Actually, I am not a green thumb. I, uh, gardening is not one of my fortes. Now my father, on the other hand, and his father, actually my father's father is still alive, which I am blessed with, and they, they grow a big enough garden to literally feed all the deer within, you know, 20 miles and the whole community practically. <laughs> that might be stretching it, but they, they grow a big garden. Well, I've never lived anywhere where I could really grow a garden or, or um, you know, I've lived in the city most of my life. And so we bought this place on eight acres and my wife and I have always said, hey, I'd like to do some raised garden beds. So I did a little bit of reading up on it. And here you can see I've got four beds. I'm gonna take it small, okay? I'm gonna take it small to start off with. So here's four beds. And um, I've got tomato plants. Here's four tomato plants in this one. Here's some peppers. There's four tomatoes over there and some onions and a couple cherry tomato plants. And, you know, the reason why I decided to do raised beds is when you dig right here, see that right there? That's a rock. I'm in Missouri, and if you need any rock, just come to my house. I'll give you all the rock you want. So, but I had to do some reading up on it because if I would have just made these beds and threw some rocky soil in it, and uh, put my tomato plants in it, you know, the results are gonna be different because I didn't prepare. So I did a little bit of reading up on it. And then I called my, my father and uh, he told me that the soil mixture of gardening, uh, vegetable gardens, really should be about 50% material and 50% water uh, or air, okay? So that it's not compacted. You don't want compacted soil. So what I have here is I have soil that I purchased. I bought some, some topsoil, and then I mixed it in with leaves, and then I put about three inches of cow manure, for you gardeners, on the top, and uh, to give it that rich organic fertilizer. So I bought these tomato plants. They were about this tall when I bought them, and as you can see, they're doing quite well. I've got a couple blooms over here. Here's some blooms. Um, they start out at about down here and they're growing like weeds. What I'm telling you here is I prepared my beds. I built the beds and then I prepared the soil and I hope to have an abundant crop for my family. Now this is not going to feed the neighborhood, but these tomatoes will taste 10 times better than what you're gonna buy at the grocery store. And you know that. So back to the story. Preparation 
is what you should be working on. Whatever it is, whatever goal it is you're trying to accomplish in life, be prepared so, it, so that when the, when the opportunity arises, you know, there may be conversations about you that someone says, well, he was just lucky. No, he wasn't lucky. The gentleman that got the job as the Morse code operator was not lucky. We don't know how long he went to school, but one thing he did is he studied. So set the necessary time each and every day. Whatever goal it is out there that you're trying to strive for and achieve, set your goal. And one of these days, someone is going to say, he is lucky. No, it's not luck. He was prepared. This has been Wes Peterson with Friday's video, and I'll see you next time.